In this video, we want to talk with you about Kaiser Permanente's hospice care program, how it works, and the benefits it can provide. You may be watching this video because you're considering hospice care for yourself or for a loved one. Over the next few minutes, we'll answer some of the most common questions about hospice care. Hello, I'm a hospice medical social worker at Kaiser Permanente. Hospice is a home-based care program for people in the final phase of terminal illness. It's focused on comfort and quality of life rather than cure. What this means is that instead of focusing on a cure for an illness or life-prolonging treatments, we help your medical team provide comfort care that make it possible for you to live the rest of your life in your home. Hospice philosophy is to provide for emotional, social, and spiritual needs, as well as managing medical symptoms. We treat the whole person, and our goal is to make our patients as comfortable and as pain-free as possible. We call this quality of life. Who will take care of my day-to-day -day needs? One of the most common misconceptions for families choosing hospice care is the expectation that hospice will provide all the care needs for you or your loved one. Your family, friends, and if needed, the caregivers you hire will be responsible for providing your daily care. We will be there to support you and them when you need us. Members of your hospice team will make visits to your home as needed to address your medical, physical, emotional, and spiritual needs. We will help teach you, your family, and or your hired caregivers the skills needed to help you be well cared for and comfortable at home. These visits will be spread throughout the week as you need them. We will not be in your home for extended periods of time. We'll help choose the right medications to ease your symptoms and provide the necessary equipment so you're comfortable. And we will help support your family and caregivers so they are comfortable with providing your care. For families, providing care at the end of life for a loved one is a special and loving gift. While it can be a rewarding experience, it can also be very difficult, both emotionally and physically. Toward the end of life, care needs may be required around the clock. Help is often needed during this time. This is when extended family or hired help is most helpful. Balancing privacy, safety, finances, and support can be challenging. Hospice is here to help you figure out when you may need additional help, such as outside hired help and resources. What does hospice provide? The hospice program uses a team approach, including a doctor, nurse, medical social worker, home health aides, spiritual care counselors, and volunteers to provide care and support. You, the patient, are the center of the care team. It's your goals and wishes that shape the care that hospice provides. Family and other loved ones are also important to the team and will help provide care and make decisions if you can't. Physician care is provided by your personal doctor, whose focus is on pain and symptom control. The hospice medical director works closely with the hospice team and is available to consult with your own doctor. Hospice nurses routinely visit during the week to coordinate your care and instruct your family and caregivers. They assess medication needs and with your doctor order medications, medical supplies, and equipment as needed. Hospice nurses also keep doctors updated regularly about changes in your needs and condition. Our nurses are available for phone advice and urgent visits if needed, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. What else can hospice do to help? Hospice medical social workers like me provide counseling and emotional support for yourself and family members. We're also available to assist with practical matters, such as identifying resources to find additional home help and coordinating referrals to government and community agencies and services. We can also help with forms such as the Family Medical Leave Act, also known as FMLA. Home health aides are available to visit as needed to assist with personal care needs such as bathing, dressing, and linen changes. The hospice team will work with you to determine if home health aid services are needed. Hospice spiritual counselors are available to help you and your family with spiritual concerns if requested. The hospice chaplain provides spiritual support and counseling and referrals to community clergy when needed. You don't need to be associated with a specific religion or be religious to utilize our chaplain services. Trained volunteers provide companionship and emotional support to you and your caregivers. 
and assist with practical needs. They do not, however, provide hands-on care. The bereavement team provides a range of bereavement support services to families during the year following the loss of a loved one. Support can start as soon as care begins. For symptoms that can't be successfully managed at home, the hospice team led by the doctor may determine in-hospital care. Short-term respite care may also be ordered by the hospice team. This is a temporary care provided in a nursing home so that family or friend who is your caregiver can rest or take some time off. Placement for respite care can take several days, so planning beforehand is very important. How will you manage my pain? Will I have to stop my current medications? Your hospice team will be monitoring your pain at every visit. If you have any pain at any time, we'll work with your primary care and hospice doctors to help keep you comfortable. Medications for pain, as well as other medications, will be monitored by your hospice nurse and reviewed with your doctor. Some medications may be discontinued if your doctor doesn't feel they're helpful. You and your family will be included in the conversation before decisions are made to discontinue any of your medications. What if something happens in the middle of the night? You can call our trained hospice telephone advice nurses at any time, day or night. They'll be able to help you with what's happening and send our staff out to evaluate your care needs if it can't be managed by phone. How do I find out if I'm eligible for hospice care? In order to be eligible for hospice, a few things need to happen. First, you must have been diagnosed with a terminal illness. Second, your doctor and the hospice doctor must determine that life expectancy is measured in months rather than years if your illness runs its usual course. Third, you must agree your care will now focus on improving your quality of life and on pain relief rather than on a cure or life prolonging treatments. Finally, you must agree to receive care at home where care will be safely provided with the support of family or other caregivers. Who pays for hospice care? Hospice is a covered benefit through Medicare, Medicaid, and many Kaiser Permanente health plans. Some deductible plans may also pay for this service. You will be informed before you enroll whether you have any financial obligation. It's important to know that once you choose hospice care, your hospice benefits will cover all your medical needs, like medical equipment and medications that are related to your terminal illness and its related conditions as outlined in this video. Typically, your original health insurance policy will still pay for covered benefits for any health problems that aren't part of your terminal illness and related conditions. Please check your explanation of benefits by contacting Kaiser Permanente's member services if you have any questions. What does hospice care not cover? Hospice does not cover any curative or life-prolonging treatments or procedures. When hospice care is chosen, you are making the decision to no longer pursue care to cure your terminal illness and related conditions. Room and board in care facilities or nursing homes is also not covered under the hospice benefit, nor is hired home help. You are financially responsible for your room and board in care facilities and for any hired home help you may need. The exception is for Medi-Cal patients. Hospice does cover room and board in a nursing home for Medi-Cal patients. Ambulance transportation, emergency room care, or in-hospital care are also not covered. Unless the hospice team determines that short-term inpatient or respite care services are needed, which the team can arrange. So unless it is approved by the hospice team, you will be financially responsible for ambulance transportation, emergency room care, and any in-hospital care. How long can I receive hospice care? As we mentioned earlier, hospice care is intended for people with a life expectancy of months if the disease runs its normal course. If you live longer than expected, you can still have hospice care as long as a doctor certifies that you are terminally ill. It's important to note that hospice care is given in defined benefit periods. You can get hospice care for two 90-day periods followed by an unlimited number of 60-day periods. Can hospice care be stopped after I enroll? 
If your health improves or your illness goes into remission, you may no longer need hospice care, and you'll be taken off of hospice. You always have the right to stop hospice care at any time for any reason. If you stop your hospice care, you'll return to the type of insurance coverage you had before you chose hospice. If you're eligible, you can re-enroll in hospice care at any time with the doctor's certification of terminal illness. What if I need to go to the hospital or if 911 is called? Remember, by choosing hospice, you've decided that care will be provided to you in your home with the support of your family or hired help. Hospice will do all they can to help support comfortable and safe in-home care. There's rarely a need to go to the hospital. If it is required, the hospice team must pre-approve it. It's always best to contact hospice before calling 911. If 911 is called without direction from the hospice team, you may be financially responsible for transportation to and from a hospital emergency room and the emergency room care bills. If you choose to seek care outside of what hospice provides, your hospice coverage would be terminated and your regular health insurance coverage would resume. We hope this answers most of your questions about hospice. We'll discuss your hospice benefits more during our visits and as your questions come up. We hope this has been helpful.